everyone welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be something a little bit different I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I store my stickers and my sticker collection if this video is a little bit shaky I do apologize I'm trying to do the best I can um, I'm not going to be doing like a dust tour like <laughs> that'll take forever and that's something that I do want to do um, like when I have natural light during the day so right now I just kind of want to focus on my sticker storage I am going to probably be doing like a dust tour of everything um, probably sometime next week but right now we're just gonna be focusing on the stickers and like where I store them I wanted to give you guys a little idea of how I pre-plan and where my stickers are in like my space um, because I'm going to be showing you three different ways on how I store my stickers so the first one will be in these acrylic drawers that you see here and then to the bottom of that there's four different folders where I store my kits and to the left of that in these like two plastic tubs there is um, where I store the rest of my stickers so I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in a little bit alright so we're a little bit more closer to my bookcase and if you guys are wondering I do have the Kallax bookcase from Ikea I have one horizontally this way and then I have one that is vertical um, but here in the one that's horizontal is where I keep all my stickers so we have the acrylic drawers that I showed you guys and then up close here like these four right here these four folders is where I keep my kits and then to the left of that in those bins is all the rest of my stickers so I'm going to go ahead and switch this like to the desk view and go over everything Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys is these. I have two of these. This is where I keep all my stickers that are not in the larger sheets. Um, and so this is a large photo and craft keeper. I actually got this from Michaels. I got it in January and I really love this organization system. Um, for me, it's easy um, and I don't know, I just really love it. So when I went at the time, they only had, they had a bunch of these colorful ones and they only had one more set of like just the clear. Um, if I could change anything, I would probably go back and get them all clear because I just like how um, more sleek they look, you know, when they're all just clear, not different colors. But I got what I got and I'm gonna go ahead and go through like all the different categories that I have. All right, so in here we have a 16 of these different like little boxes, I wanna call them, and I went ahead and labeled all of them with my label maker. I just thought that it looked a little bit more organized that way. Um, and I did these um, like categories on the way that I like to plan. So I'll kinda go through of like I guess all the categories with you guys. So um, like I said, it holds a 16 of these and you would be surprised at how many stickers they hold some I just have like different categories and some I have like specific shops so if I have enough stickers for a specific shop that I like to shop at um, they'll get their own box but some of them are mixed so I'll go ahead and go through that so my first one is my functional and this is what the little box looks like and we just snap it open and then here we go so in my functionals there's like um, just like functional stuff, I don't really use any of these anymore, but when I first started planning, I did. So we just have like flags. We have Monday through Sunday boxes. Some of these I did have to cut in half to fit into here. Um, we have like a three heart checklist from Little Miss Papery and weekend banners and just anything functional, like habit trackers and stuff like that, and like regular checklists. Anything functional that goes in this category comes in here. And then um, you guys know that I do like to shop with Tasseled Planner, so I do have two boxes for her. Um, I didn't label them like individually, but I know from like using the system for so long, where's what. So here in the purple one is all my gold foil tassel planner, and here is silver and rose gold. So with her sheets, it's the same thing. I just have all the different like... Um, just basically all of her shop sheets. Now, if it's a icon and it's like um, filming icon, I'll go ahead and put it in the filming one because I just found that it's easier for me to plan that way. Even though, even though it's from this shop, um, if it's an icon that I have a category for, like filming or um, I don't know, quarter boxes, um, activities, anything like that, I'll go ahead and put that icon in that box instead of just here. So here I keep all the ones from Tasseled Planner that are gold foiled, and then over here I keep everything that's like silver and rose gold. So 
here are all the silver ones and all the rose gold ones and stuff like that and etc so I keep those in there and they fit really good I just like that it's protected in here and when I'm pre-planning um, like for instance here's my pre-planning sheet for next week so when I'm pre-planning this pad is from Hello Petite Paper. Um, when I'm pre-planning and I say like I gotta upload a plan with me on Sunday then I'll go and I'll pull this filming like this filming box and then I'll pull whatever sticker I want from there. You know what I mean? Or if I need to tidy my house on Thursday, if I want a script for that, then I'll pull that box and et cetera, et cetera. So um, the next box is filming. And like I said, in here, I just keep everything that's related to that category. Um, I do have like here, let me see, because I know I have some of tasseled planner in here for film so yeah so these cameras are right tasseled planner but they're specific icons for this like category so oh there's like a random backpack <laughs> um but anyways I keep those there and so that's how I like in my head how I look for stuff because I found that I used to just keep it with the shop but I found that sometimes um I would miss out on stickers because I would reach for filming in my head because I'm thinking about filming. I wouldn't think to look in like specific shops and in, in their boxes, if that makes sense. So my next category is script. And this is probably the one where I've had to cut the sheets in half the most because most scripts come like in a full sheet. But I didn't mind doing that with the scripts. And I'll kind of go into detail of why I chose to like do the other ones in the acrylic drawers and these here. But I really don't mind the script ones. I feel like they're easy to tell which shop it's from. So all my script stickers are in here. And then I do have one for Rose Color Days because I do shop with her quite enough to warrant like her own box. So I just have her headers and everything in here that's just her shop. I don't have her headers in like my headers box. I don't know why, and you, you guys are gonna see like random stickers. It, it happens, you guys. But I just have all of her like foil stuff. So if I know I wanna pull something from her, I'll go there. So my next category is characters. And I did this because I had a few characters that I didn't have enough of to have like a whole box to them, but I had enough that I can just put them all in like this category and they'll fit. So here I have like some from Scribble Prince Co, Stickies by CNS. I do have my Kina prints in here, um, Paper Princess Plans, um, Lovely Plannery, Bubble Mon Stickers Co. I think I have Ohana Story back here, yeah. So, and then I have like the few like random ones from Bubba Bear Studios. So. I do have like the characters that I don't have enough of to have their own box. I have them all in here. And I don't really plan with a lot of character stickers like I used to. But if I do decide to, then I'll know to come in here. So that's how that is. My next one is activities. I hope you guys can see that. It's kind of hard for me to fit like this big box up here where I film. So I'm trying to do the best I can. But the activities one, this one, I've changed the category so many times because I don't know. Activities to me in my head is anything fun so like movies um like this like I don't know where else I would put that like water parks drinks like barbecuing again movies um cooking binge watching I do have my movie marquees in here um birthdays I have a like birthdays and celebrations and stuff I have that in here these like little Tsum Tsums from Rory Sweet Addiction well I use these like when I mark to go Disney World and just like random stuff like that that fits into that category like celebrate and stuff like that or just like different activities where I didn't know where else to put them I went ahead and put it put them here sorry and then I do have one that's holiday that's kind of self-explanatory I don't have a lot in here but I do have like specific holidays like the ones from rose colored days so see I didn't put these in rose colored days because I know if I'm looking for holidays I would come to this box um and just like I have like seasonal ones basically that I don't really buy much of but I wanted them to have their own section so I have that in there and then I have a box for all my quarter boxes. This one's really, really full. But again, I feel like it's not so squished in here where I can't store them in here yet. You know what I mean? So I know sometime in the future I might have to declutter, which I, I know I will. But um, if not, then I'll just go ahead and get another one of these boxes. But here, there's no, like no rhyme or reason. I just have like all my quarter boxes that I like to use from Stick Bloom, um, Tassel Planner, Aria's Daydream. I just have a lot of those in here. 
Some of these are like $2 Tuesday ones and like these little, what do you call these? Sticky notes and stuff like that. So I go ahead and just put all those in here in the quarter boxes. And then I do have um, another shop. So Planning World, I do shop with her often. So I went ahead and put all her stickers in here, except for a few, which I'll show you guys later. So I just have mostly her like foiled icons in here. And yeah, that's I just keep them all in here. And if I need an icon or something like that, I'll go ahead and look in here. So this one, I probably hardly ever like open, but these are just like my half boxes that I've bought in like they're not in kits. So I have like Bubba Bear Studios half boxes, sticker bloom. So if I ever need to bring in something, like a half box that I don't know to look in here. I have some lovely plannery. And again, some of these I've cut in half just to fit in here. So this next category is a foil. So um, I think the only foil shops that have their own boxes is Rose Color Days, Tassel Planner, Simply Watercolor Co, and Planning World. So everything else I don't have enough of to make like their own foiled boxes. So I go ahead and just put them in here. So I have some of these from Station Stickers that are like leftovers from her kits. I do keep those. And then I just have some like from Pretty Paper Crazy. Um, I know this one's from like my newest addictions, like her foiled ones. I do like them and her bows, but I don't have enough of them to make like their own box. I have some from Adorably Amy Designs. So just basically these are mostly just like foiled, foiled icons that, you know, I have these from, where are these from? White Dare Stationery, so I have those bows. And I just keep like all my random foiled icons in there because I do want the foiled ones to have like their own. And this one is date dots. Um, I don't keep these with the date covers. I just, I just don't. I think because the, sometimes the date dots, like their sheets are so small. I don't want to keep them with the bigger sheets of date covers. So it's easier for me to kind of go through them here. So I just have like random date dots from like my newest addiction, rose colored days, simply watercolor co. I do have some from paper blush bar. Um, I do have these from color pop paper, just regular date dots. So they, they don't have to be foiled. If it's like just date dots by their own, I'll go ahead and put them in here. And then um, I have a box for Simply Watercolor Co. because I do shop with her often. And so I just keep all of her in here, even if it's like different categories because it's easier for me in my head. So I keep like her script, or no, this is paper blush bar. I don't know why it's in there. But basically like all the foiled ones from Simply Watercolor Co., I just keep them in here. Maybe I might just go ahead and like put these in sections like activities and filming. I may have to do that just like I said, to remember to use them because if they're in this box, then unless I'm like looking for something I know specifically for Simply Watercolor Co., it might get lost in there. And my last one is Happy Mail. And that one's self-explanatory as well. I just keep all of my envelopes in here that can signify Happy Mail. So um, I have some from Tasseled Planner. I have some from Carter and Slade, Scribble Prints Co. I think these were like a freebie for one of her mystery kits. Um, just anything that can signify Happy Mail or a post office or anything like that, I just go ahead and keep these in there. And that works out just fine. So that completes like my first um, little bin here. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I have in the other one. All right. So here is the other bin and this is the one that it's all clear and I live for it. I love how clean and simple it looks. And, um, maybe sometime in the future if these goes on sale again, I know they have been on sale a few times, but Michael's is like 30 minutes away from me. So I don't go there often and maybe I'll pick up another one, but for now I'm okay with a colorful. Um, one tip that I am going to like advise you if you guys are looking into the storage system is for the clear ones, open it up in store and make sure that all of these little boxes are in here. I got one with like um, one that's missing back here. Like there, there wasn't one there. Um, I didn't go back because like I said, it's like 30 minutes away from me and I had already went twice that day. So yeah, um, just open it up and make sure all of these boxes are in there. But these are my clear ones and I do have more shops like to themselves in here. Most of like my um, like coffee monster store, like just like emojis and stuff like that that are characters i do keep them by their shop so um so the first like category here is school 
I don't go to school personally, but my daughters do. And so anything that's kind of like school re school related, I keep in here. So I just sit on the floor and like I take my pre-planning pad. And if it's like Monday, it's early release usually for my daughter, then I know to look in the like the school bin and stuff like that. So for me, like it's pretty easy and like all my stickers are um, protected and it's just, and for like all these stickers to be in this bin and like when you saw like in the first clip of the video, I store them vertically in my bookcase. They don't take up really much a lot of room so I really enjoy this planning like organization so anyways for the school ones I just have anything that reminds me of school I have clocks because I like buying clocks and um and I use them for early release for my daughter I have backpacks from Nikki plus three um I have like clocks again <laughs> even though if they're foiled they're still in here um like pencils I have like these school sheets some from Lexi Kelly designs school buses and crayons and pack lunches and anything basically that is school related I go ahead and put them in here so there is the school one and then my next one would be Etsy and for this one it's basically um, since I do have a shop on Etsy it's basically anything work related for me minus the bows that I use from Tassel Planner to mark orders those I keep with Tassel Planner but anything else that's Etsy related like computers or anything like that I keep them in here so like I said I have computers um, from like Tassel Planner art box stickers I do have like these icons Etsy icons I go ahead and put them in here I have these like because these can be used to mark paydays I keep them in here with my Etsy's um, I have these money icons from sticker bloom these computers from mom petite planner and wild sunshine co I do have like payday scripts in here because to me that's like work related so I keep them here I have these jumbo laptops I did have to cut these in half but these are from little miss papery and I just have basically all my work stuff I do keep like some bows in here because I do make bows in my shop so I have like these little bow dividers from exo wait what is this exo mama plans yeah and then these like little bow clip oh, wow bow clips from um where's abby marie plans so i just keep all of etsy stuff here bill dues i keep in here again payday scripts and stuff like that and bows i just keep all of these here so I do have these. I do have quite a few stickers from Stick With Me Shop, but not enough to warrant their own box. So I just go ahead and put them in the category that they fit in. Um, my next one is medical. I don't have a lot of these, <laughs> but I, I wanted it to have its own spot because then I know if I wanted some more like a doctor's appointment or if I'm sick or I need to pick up medicine, then I know I will go into the medical one. So I just have a few like pill bottles, um, these stethoscopes from its planning time, these appointment labels by Pretty on Paper Co. because I thought they reminded me of like medical. I have these like time of the month stickers and um, these nurses hats and pill bottles from its planning time. So that's what I have in there. And then one of my favorite categories is travel. I love buying houses and car icons. I don't know why, but I do. So again, even if it's foiled, I'm gonna keep it in here. So I have like these houses from Tassel Planner, the Sticky Committee, I have like this traveling sheet, um, cars from Planning Like a Pro. So what you'll find here is basically suitcases, houses, because I travel to my mom's or my mom comes here often. So I wanted that, so that for me is travel. And, um, suitcases houses and cars is basically what you'll find here so I just have like an assortment of different ones that I can pull in I have like these little minis from Little Miss Papery these suitcases from Planeresque these houses from its planning time just basically different icons that I can use to mark traveling and then my next category is beauty related so um, here is one where I like as well so basically beauty related for me is anything from getting my nails done sleeping in like sleep masks or me time um, and then I'd have like getting your like my hair done I have like hair stuff in here as well like somewhere in here I have like these eyelashes so I, I think these came with like a freebie and a mystery kit so I just put them there because they're beauty related so again another sheet from stick with me shop but I don't have enough of these so I just keep them here with like with this category because it makes more sense so yeah I like getting your hair done and stuff like that so anything beauty related or like getting my eyebrows done or bath time or me time or anything like that I go ahead and put the sheets in here and then my next category is planning 
and this is basically anything that reminds me of planning or like washi or anything like that supplies pens anything like that i keep those in here so i have some from what shop is this aria's daydream tasseled planner i have these washies from scribble prints co i do have like these organized stickers because it's planner related from style planner um hello petite paper nikki plus three um, just basically anything, even though this is kind of seasonal for me, it's more planning. So I keep it in there. Um, I have this one from stick with me shop. It's like Phil Etsy cart shopping and stuff like that, but it's like planner supply stuff. So I keep it in here. So yeah, this is just basically like Instagram or anything like that. That kind of reminds me of planning and you know, stuff like that. I keep it in here. So my next one is cleaning and I like buying these icons as well. So cleaning to me is basically that, cleaning. So I have laundry baskets in here. Um, I have like this cleaning sheet from, where is this from, Sticker Bloom. I have um, some from Soda Pop Studio. I have cleaning bottles, laundry baskets. I like buying those. Um, and I have these bed ones because to me they signify like, you know, cleaning a bedroom or washing sheets. Laundry baskets, again, I love laundry baskets. Um, I have these from Planning Like a Pro, these from Stick With Me Shop, and yeah, that's just basically everything. Now, I do have this script in here that says laundry, but I keep it in here because for me, it's like cleaning, so I, I do that sometimes with the, with the script ones. So I have these also by Bubba Bear Studios that I used to use a lot. And yeah, so all of these is just basically laundry, or not laundry, but cleaning really. Well, basically laundry, but anything to do with cleaning. And then one of my favorite categories is coffee. It's like been, it's bent because it's been used a lot. <laughs> but here is where I keep all my coffee stickers. So I do like collecting coffee cups. It's one of my favorite icons to buy. So I just have some from like Lovely Plannery, Tassel Planner. I do have her Hello Mondays in here because I use these to mark coffee Mondays. Um, and then I have like the Sticky Committee and Artbox stickers, Mon Petite Planner. I love her coffee cups. They're one of my favorites. And I have some from Hello Petite Paper. Basically, <sighs> have some from everywhere sweet deco chic but i think she changed her shop name spencer and jude van sticky so this could have been in like the um characters box but i do have coffee icons here so i just went ahead since i only have like i think this is i have this in a birthday sheet from van sticky so i just went ahead and put it in the coffee one and yeah so anything coffee related or coffee monday or anything like that i put these here i have these these are probably one of my favorites i think this is from the shop little star plans i think but they're like harry potter and i really like them and yeah so that is it so anything coffee related goes in here i must say though i just got these stickers from the sticky committee i can cut around it which i think i'm going to do because they don't like quite fit in here how I want them to and I don't want them to get bent which is what's going to happen because I don't know they're like more square than rectangle so my next category is food so food for me is like grocery shopping or food itself so I do have a lot of grocery shopping in here so I have like grocery carts I have food like ice cream and again a lot of like grocery shopping because for me when I think about food or like these like dinner like this dinner plate um when i think about food i think about like food shopping so i just keep all of these together i do have a category just for shopping but i just thought this warranted its own because i like barbecue pits and stuff pizza because i'll probably look into here like when i think food i think food shopping so i guess that's just the mom in me but yeah so i just have like different food icons in there as well and then my next one as i was talking about is shopping so everything that's shopping but not food related is in here. So I have like my Michaels bags in here from Wild Sunshine Co. I do pick up a lot of these samplers from Hello Petite Paper. I can put them in so many different categories. I put them in the first one I find. So I put these in here. I have these little shopping bags from Tasseled Planner, Hello Petite Paper. I have these from Thule Plans, Sticker Bloom. I do have these Amazons. I think one's from the Coffee Monsters Co. And one is from Bubba Bear Studios. Um, Target bags I keep in here. Etsy bags. Bags I keep in here. There's Ulta and Hobby Lobby. I don't really use Ulta or these three a lot. All these four. I don't really use them a lot because I don't have a lot of spreads that have orange. Like you got to be like the perfect storm, like an orange spread that I'm doing and I happen to go to Hobby Lobby that week. So I really wasn't thinking about that. I do use the Michaels ones a lot because it's more neutral. 
Um, and then we start with like specific shops that get their own um, category because I have enough of their stickers. So I have been thinking of like moving these like the Bow Happy Mail and her coffee cup ones to like the coffee section or the Happy Mail section because I don't go in here a lot. Usually when I plan with characters, I use the same character throughout the spread and I use like two or three. I don't like use a lot. I just don't like using them a lot. Um, so if I do the same character, I'll pull Fox and Pip and that's the only time if I feel like using Fox and Pip that I'll open this. So I'm thinking about using like putting these in the Happy Meal section and stuff like that because I could use these a lot. I just forget that I have them. But um, here I just basically self-explanatory, just keep all my Fox and Pip girls. Even though she's sleeping, she could technically be in the beauty one. But I just like having all my characters like on their own, you know what I mean? So here I just keep like all the bows and bow clips and everything that I have from Fox and Pip. And then I have one from the Coffee Monsters Co. because I love shopping with this shop it's one of my favorites and i just have all my emojis here so the good thing about this is not only do these fit in here but usually sticker books fit in here so i do have like all three three of the sticker books that i have from her i have the coffee addict one the planner girl and the mom life so these fit perfectly in here so i can keep them together and then i just basically have all the coffee or the coffee monsters code so if i feel like i want to bring in a character then i'll go ahead and pull this and i can do that i'll probably move these to food because that would make more sense for me but i just threw them in here because i just saw coffee monsters go so i have a little organizing to do when i'm done here so another shop that I like to shop with is Once More With Love. When I first started planning, I used to use a lot, a lot of munchkins. But since then, I have like kind of toned it down a little bit. But I still like to incorporate it every once in a while. So um, again, I could probably, <laughs> these are so many. It's so ridiculous. But this shows like how much like this can hold. Um, it doesn't bother me to go through these to look for different activities because sometimes going through them because I have so many kind of reminds me of what I have and I can pull them into the spread if I'm looking like for to mark like another event later on down the week with this like with the same shop because I like I said before I do like to use like the same character throughout. So these are my once more with love. I do have one for Fox and Cactus. I don't really bring her in as much but I do love Fox and Cactus. I love her... I don't know, like the skin tone of her, um, of her girls. It reminds me of my skin tone. So, um, yeah, I have a few of her stickers that warranted its own box. So I went ahead and put those in there. I probably should use these more because I really do enjoy using hers. Um, and then my last category in this is Stationery Heaven Co. And I went hard with this shop. This is one of my favorite shops. And I was thinking that I'm going to go through this and take out like books and put them in the school category. Planners put them in the planning category because I feel like I'm running out of room. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I, you know what I mean? Like I, there's a big stack here and she always has a good sale. And I love using her stuff. So there's like a big stack here and it fits, it fits though. I mean, it fits just fine, but I think it's getting lost in here. So I'm gonna have to like go through them and just keep like her characters in here. But the ones that are like happy mail, put them in that category and coffee, put it in the coffee category and etc. But these are just where I keep all of my stickers from Stationery Heaven Co. So now um, I am going to try and find this um, organization system and link it down below for you guys. Um, I think recently it was on sale. So that's when I grabbed mine. I think I got both of them for 20 bucks. So, and like, again, like I said, I have a lot of stickers. I like that they have so many different categories that I can categorize them in and they don't take up a lot of space. I can just slide them in my bookshelf and then like just take them out when I need them. So I do have some that don't fit in here. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I store those. Okay, so I do have a lot of my stickers that I used to. Like Cle Clever Girl Krauss used to have one of her little boxes in the storage system I just showed you, but I didn't like because especially since I've started to film, um, sometimes the colorways would get mixed up because they're cut in half. I couldn't tell where's what. And I decided to go ahead and change that storage system for these. These are acrylic drawers. I got these from Amazon and I am going to link them down below. They're not like the best. Sometimes when I slide them out, it's hard to slide them in, but I mean, it gets it done so these are like two three drawers and I went ahead and just stacked them up against each other and that's how I store them like in my bookcase so I'm gonna go ahead each category with you 
Okay, so the first one I'm going to go ahead and show you is this acrylic drawer, and this one contains all my quarter boxes or half boxes, glitter headers, and date covers. So, um, I just found that a lot of these come in like the bigger sheets, and I didn't want to cut those in half, so I just went ahead and got these. I think I just needed six, and I'm very much happy with how that turned out. So, in the first one down here, I just have all my date covers. Um, so, I have some from Tesla Planner, Rose Colored Days. Um, I do have some from Simply Watercolor Code that I put in here. Um, I think I have some from ColourPop Paper that I used to use. So basically all of my date covers are in here and if I'm pre-planning on the floor and I need date covers to match a kit then I'll just go ahead and pull from here. The next one is glitter headers and this basically is glitter headers or foiled headers or foiled glitter headers. <laughs> so I have my favorite ones from Tassel Planner. I keep them here. I do have some from Kimmy Studio. I love her date covers. Uh, not date covers, glitter headers. I really do love hers. Um, and then I have more of the foiled ones, more from Kimmy Studio. I know in the back I have some from uh, Lovely Plannery and I also have some from Sticker Bloom. I also have my planner gems um, headers there. I do have some like $2 Tuesday ones. So, and I do keep like glitter flags back here or um, what other ones? Like if I have glitter headers left over from a kit, I'll put them in here. I do have these random headers in here because I didn't want to cut this in half, but if I need them, I'll pull them. And then these are the ones from Lovely Plannery. A lot of these are more like old ones, like $2 Tuesday from Scribble Prints Co. I have these from Spencer and Jude and basically just a whole bunch of glitter headers. So I keep all my foiled and glitter headers in here. And then my third category here is my quarter boxes. So these are quarter boxes or half boxes that come in the longer sheets that I don't want to cut in half. So mostly I have them from Tasseled Planner. I do have some from Abby Marie Plans and um, Sticker Bloom. And just basically I have like these from, what is the shop name? Not this one. Oh, I have these from Vintage Rose Studios and these I have from Pretty Paper Crazy. So yeah, that's all like my quarter boxes or glitter headers. Now, like down here, you're gonna see stuff that looks like little pieces of hair and trust me, that's not me. When you get these in Amazon, like in the bottom, it's um, coated in like this black thing. It's like a piece of cloth and it looks like mesh and you can take it out and then it's all clear, but it leaves like these little strands of like string and stuff that looks like hair. So I try to clean them off, but they like stick to the, the acrylic. So that's what that is in case you guys were wondering. Um, and then my other one is probably my favorite ones. So I just, the easiest way to categorize this for me, the way I plan is gold, silver, rose gold. And that basically is it. All the bigger foil sheets that I don't want to cut in half and that can't fit in the other storage and they're like shop like um, category will go in here and this works so well because if I'm using rose gold I'll just pull out the rose gold drawer and etc so I'll go ahead and go through these as well so the first one is just all my rose gold so I have like weekend banners from rose color days that I don't want to cut in half so I keep them in here her holidays as well I stopped cutting those in half and just leaving them in here and because it was so hard because then I would find one half and I'm like okay where's the other half because the other half has the sticker I need so it was just easier for me to store them these this way I do have like bows from clever gal crafts and I have a lot of her icons because I like her icons as well. I have her hearts. Just anything rose gold. I have these washi strips from Tasseled Planner. So anything rose gold, I keep them in here. This is the least like that I have from all my foils because I'm not really crazy about rose gold. I much prefer silver or gold and that's what I find myself buying the most. So here is my silver one and I have like icons from Vintage Rose Studios. I did put like my overlays from the sticky committee. I went ahead and put them in here because they're a little bit too big, like especially these squared ones to put like in anything else. So I keep them here. I have like hearts from Clever Gal Crafts and icons from her as well and flags. No particular order, I just put them in here. Um, and I have some from Vintage Rose Studio, Lovely Plannery. So like I said, I used to cut these in half, but like what if I'm looking at this and I'm like, where's the other half? And maybe that has the stickers I want, which is probably this, or I'm probably planning with this, and I'm like, I don't know what colorway this is. So that's why I went ahead and just did this. So I have those there. 
And then my last one is just probably the most I have, a foil and it's gold. So again, the same kind of shops, um, Tassel Planner, Lovely Plannery. I do keep like my foil box overlays in here. So if I'm like planning and I need gold, then I know to look in here. So I have um, Planning World, like her planning sheets. I went ahead and put them in here. Um, and yeah, just basically weekend banners again from Rose Colored Days. The clipboards from Clever Girl Crafts. I have flags by Tasseled Planner. I have these little bow checklists from Simply Watercolor Co. So anything that was in the longer sheets and I needed um, that are foiled in gold, I just put them in here. So that works best for me. And again, I don't mind going through looking for them because it reminds me of everything else I have that I could be using as well. So this is what I use for my longer sheets that don't have or that I don't want to go ahead and cut those in half. And again, I'll link these acrylic drawers down below. All right, so the last thing I'm going to show you is how I store my kits. I do store them in these folders because I find that's the easiest way for me to store and like keep track of everything I have. I have four different folders and they all have different categories. So I have summer, I have spring, I have fall and winter, and then I have uh, any time one, which is just a kit that doesn't really fall into any really any specific season and I can use them anytime. So when I know where I'm going to sit down to pre-plan, I don't know which kits I'm gonna use in advance. I usually do that like, <laughs> the day I'm going to film it just depends on my mood and how I'm feeling that day so um if I do know like it's summer I'll go ahead and pull this and I'll pull the anytime one too because you just never know so this is the first one this one is summer again I don't know if I said these but I got these folders from Walmart and I like them because they were foiled so I like how they look in my space so I do have like these clear like dividers I got those from Target and I just have all my summer kits in here no specific order just all the summer kits that I have I do have some that's like from a long time ago like last summer that I haven't used yet so if like the season passes then I'll go ahead and um, keep them in here and then I'll know like when summer comes again like how many summer kits I have and maybe I should stop buying them because I already have enough and that kind of thing um, but yeah I just keep all of my summer kits in here and again no particular order just basically when I get them whatever space is that's free I'll just stick them in there I don't keep them like in the pockets like the cellophane bags I just I don't know why I think when like I haul stuff I put the cellophane bags to the side and end up throwing them away I don't put the kits back but yeah this is just my summer one and I do like looking through these or having them like divided into seasons I feel like that makes a lot more sense to me so then my next one I think this is fall and winter yeah so these are just all my fall and winter kits I didn't want to put like I didn't want to have more than four categories so I just put fall and winter together because that was the least I had and then it ended up being like a big gigantic stuff but these are just like kits that I feel are like more darker colors and I could probably use in fall like this one from glam planner um I'll take this out because I've had this for quite some time if you can see the full boxes so right here isn't that so pretty it could be an anytime kit because you could use it anytime. But for me, when I look at it, I think about like using it in October and that's fall. So I put that in here. And then I just have some from Scribble Prints Co., Paper Dove Shop, Sticker Bloom, this one. Oh, you guys, I was so sad. I wasn't able to use this one last year because they didn't fit. But these colors are so pretty. These are This is from Glam Planner. It came out last year like last fall and these these colors are so pretty so I am so excited like when I look through this fall and winter is my favorite season so my birthday is during the winter and I just I love Christmas and fall and I love like the colors the decorations everything so when I look at this folder I get so happy because I know fall is coming soon um, I have this from sticker bloom um, soda pop studio I have this one from glam planner as well uh, Scribble Prints Co. So a lot that I wasn't able to use last year, but I will definitely be using this year. Um, I have this one from Sweet Pink Elephant. Uh, Sticker Bloom. I actually got this after winter ended. It was on sale, and so I thought I would pick it up. Um, I got this like a mystery kit from Scribble Prints Co. These both are by Soda Pop Studio Home Mystery Kits. Um, I have one from Lovely Plannery. Kind of reminds me of like Halloween colors, so I kept it in here. I have this one from Spencer and Jude. Um, this one that I'm definitely using this fall, this one is from Scribble Prints Co. and then Nicole Alexia Designs. I do have this because 
it could be in the anytime kit but I think about like Halloween and stuff like that so I might use it in October I don't know and then I have like uh, the latest scribble I do um, sign up for scribble prints co like mystery kits I do get them each month I don't haul them because I feel like so many people do but if that's something you guys want to see every month let me know and yeah so that is what I use for or what I have for fall and winter so I have a lot of fall like looking back I have a lot of fall but I don't have a lot of like Christmas stuff so I was really good last year I like was like legit like no I only need four kids I'm a mom of two girls and they wanted like everything so I had to budget and I just bought basically for like the four weeks of Christmas and I didn't overbuy um my next category is spring this one has the most kits because I feel like a lot of kits that I gravitate to are lighter colors and you I would use them in spring but don't get me wrong, I probably would use like a pastel like kit in the middle of December. It just depends on my mood, but for like the category's sake, I'm just gonna put them here in spring. So I have this one from Little Miss Papery. I've had this for, gosh, a long time now. I just never find the right week to use it. Um, this is from Aria's Daydream. This is from Let's Make It Sparkle. I have some from Planning World. I was so sad I wasn't able to use this kit. Um, and then, um, what is this from Nikki plus three I have a lot of old glam planner ones uh, soda pop studio sweet Bella XOXO Abby Murray plans um, my newest addiction I wasn't able to use this one either um, because it just like I don't know with me like I have to be in a mood for a certain kit so some of them get skipped over even though they're like really I really really love them it's just not the right time for me to use them yet I have some from soda pop studio these are like both mystery kits from her this one is as well um, I have this from the Lockhart Co and this from no white space stickers so I got this last fall I would probably move this to fall now I thought maybe I would use it during the winter time but there is one that says like a box this is so very thankful it's really pretty it's foiled in rose gold foil so I might move this to fall because I probably would use it like in November. I have this from Scribble Prince Co. I went with a different Easter kit, so now I have one for next year. Nicole Alexia Decides, Sadie Stickers, Sweet Pink Elephant. So basically, any like a spring kit. I do have like this mystery one from Scribble Prince Co. that I didn't use. I have some from Two Little Bees, Simply Watercolor Co. Um, what is this? Scribble Prince Co. Sweet Pink Elephant. So any spring kits, and I'm pretty sure I'm like set for spring. Knowing me, I'll probably pick up some more because like new clip art comes out and stuff like that. But I'm pretty much set for spring for next year. And my last category is my anytime one. And basically, like I said before, anything that doesn't really warrant a, a season, I just go ahead and put it in here. Um, so I have this kit from Soda Pop Studio. I think I might use this soon um, in my B6. I don't really want to use it in my like main planner because it's matte paper. <laughs> and I just I prefer glossy in my like my Erin Condren. But I might use this in my traveler's notebook. Um, I have some from Artbox Stickers, Harry Wright Designs. I have this one from Planning World. It came in her mystery box last. I want to say last December I got this and I didn't find a week to use it I felt like it more lends to Valentine's Day but I didn't I, I just never went on Valentine's Day so I do have that here I have this from odd loop because I'm hoping one day I'll go to Disney World again and I'll be able to use this so I have that I have this from the sticky station like this unicorn one I have like a travel one from hello petite paper um, I have this one from Scribble Prince Co. I mean this could be summer but I just put it in here. I, pr I should probably move it to summer because I am going to be using this kit soon. Um, this one is another mystery kit from last year from Scribble Prince Co. that I put in there because I didn't quite know where to put it. Have one from Once More With Love. You guys, <laughs> you guys are going to see the oldest kit. I have this from Scribble Prince Co. When I first started planning, I saw somebody do a plan with me this and I was like, I need this kit and she brought it back and I bought it and I never used it I don't know like I'm legit I have two kits from her that I'm legit hoarding and I have no idea why I can't bring myself to use this but maybe one day I will <laughs> but I haven't found the right week I have this SBC like the original cafe from her mystery kit from last year and I haven't used it yet and then I have this like planner girl kit from glam planner I have this one from glam planner again I think it was one of her mystery kits I have like this planner girl kit from simply watercolor co 
Um, this one from our box stickers. This is from Hello Petite Paper. My newest addiction because I really didn't know where to put this. Um, I have like a lot of planner girl kits in here because I feel like they're anytime. I have this one which I don't know why it's in here. It should be in the spring one. But that's from Simply Watercolor Co. This is from uh, Soda Pop Studio. Harriet Wright Designs. I mean this could technically be winter. I feel like that could be moved to winter. I have this Disney one from Simply Watercolor Co. And this one from Glam Planner. I think I'm saving this for February of next year. I have this main mystery from Glam Planner. This coffee one, which I don't know when I'll use that. So I put that in at any time. I do have this one from here, right? Designs. And this is the one that I have been hoarding. This kit, I've had it since December 2016. And the reason that I know that is because I remember when I first started planning, I started planning in a happy planner. And um, I started planning September of 2016 or around there like August. And by November, I knew I wanted an Erin Condren, so I ordered it during Black, Black Friday. And in December, I remember even where I was at when I saw this kit on Instagram from Scribble Prince Co. This is my first kit I've ever bought from her. And and she released this like I want to say after Christmas like a little bit after Christmas of 2016 and I got it and you guys I still haven't used it and looking at the colors I feel like it would be really pretty in October because of the black and the purple so I might be using that this year because it, I just need to use it I think this kit was so pretty and I was so obsessed with this kit so yeah so that completes like my sticker storage i hope you guys enjoyed this video maybe you gotten like some ideas especially with like the memory photo keeper box because i feel like that's such a good organization system i used to store all my stickers in like the shoe box but it just wasn't working for me um but yeah i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did go ahead and give it a thumbs up like i said i will be doing a dust tour next week so keep an eye out for that so yeah i will see you guys next time bye